Hey friends, Wayne Brown, the Ram Man here. Uh, Mopar, Ford, brake specialist, component maker, you name it, we've done it. We've made a lot of parts that we've sold by the thousands. Rotors, calipers, spindles, master cylinders, brackets. And looks now like now we've hit upon a runaway product, which is probably going to sell in the tens of thousands. We've been copying the factory for a long time. In the Mopar and Ford world, we are quite famous for brake components and uh, high performance uh, brake kits and such and such. We have made thousands of products in the past, master cylinders, rotors, disc brake kits, spindles, and such and such. See, the OEM uh, engineers, they've got a big advantage. They've been doing this for decades and decades and decades, and they're able to carry this knowledge along and just doing slight modification each year, improving a design, improving a product, and so that gives us a huge advantage. And my philosophy in making parts, which we've done for a while, if you copy an OEM component, or you modify an OEM component, before you go into the project, whether you're spending a little bit of money or a lot of money, here's some facts that you realize. Number one, it's always going to fit. Number two, it's always going to work. And number three, it's always going to look right. What we have done through a lot of research and remachining several components is we have taken off-the-shelf OEM components that have been being made for years and well vetted and it all bolts right up to our American axle. So the gear and the thrust bushing. The thrust bushing goes in the back of the hub. It's just held in by a clip. On top of that It's a greasable hub. You can grease it right there through the ABS port with a standard grease gun. We've got videos on that. Once you've done that, it just all bolts together. Here's our stub shaft. Voila. You're finished. Number one, you'll notice a big gas mileage improvement. Number two, you'll get some peppiness back when you accelerate that bad boy. Because you know what? It's like having an anchor thrown out back. Every time you step on it, you're dragging that front end, all that inertia, gears, and that drive shaft. Tell you the other thing, too, is it's going to stop better in an emergency situation. Because it's a whole lot easier to stop a free, free spinning wheel when you apply the brakes then to stop something that's carrying all that inertia and kinetic energy and mass all those gears and front axles and drive shafts and all that so gonna notice some significant difference and uh, it'll put some pep it'll put some pep back in your truck and uh, it will improve the gas mileage you stop all the wear and tear and that stops the bearing from getting beat to smithereens from the inside see that's the problem friends that the rotational load and our bearings are getting beat to smithereens from the inside. Therefore, double the load. Therefore, half the life. It's very simple. So you get rid of you get rid of all all that wear and tear. The other thing is, people are talking about do these things stick out? No, they don't stick out because they're factory pieces. You can go look at a Ford. Matter of fact, on the other bearing, well, most of them. You can put the hubcap back on and go stealth. We've got a factory hub, factory stub shaft, and factory hubs. It all just bolts right up. Right there. Just as easy as pie. It's the best design in the world proven by the hundreds and hundreds of thousands, not some little aftermarket thing out there. And you can't find any any fault with the parts. The parts, the names speak for themselves. So how are you going to go wrong? And here's the cool thing about it. 
you know, since it is factory design and it mounts flush, you know, you can cut your caps if you want to. Hell, you can put your caps back on and run stealth. So, you know, like those other guys I hear, they stick out like 14 inches or something like that. Hey, if you're undecided, next time look over and look at that dude next to you and that, that, that Ford Super Duty that's got them hubs on there. And yeah, made me envious too. Sure did, and I did something about it. So, give us a call, friends. Uh, hope this helped you out. Uh, look forward to hearing from you. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you.